where Blaine was going to face the Forest Lake Rangers. Both teams striving for a chance against top-seeded Cambridge Isanti in the semifinals. Blaine the five-seed, Forest Lake the four-seed. Coming into this matchup, this Forest Lake team's been pesky in the past. Here, Eric Peterson with a corner look. It shows these Rangers have range. We've we'll seen plenty of threes throughout the course of this matchup. Blaine able to match that shot early, in fact, as Aaron Call connects on three of his game-high 16 points. Bengals working together, feed in traffic, hesitation by Sam Olson, and he scores inside. And now it's Forest Lake matching the Bengals as Jordan Boyson gets two of his 15 inside. Bengals penetrate to find Isaiah Giles. He's fouled with dropping in two of his 10 points in this matchup. Here off the steal, Rangers out on the run. Peterson finishes the play with two. He finished the night with 13. Lane staying on top with the long ball. This one from Patrick Peralt. And then another from Max Stepanek. Bengals up 36-33 at the half. Second half starting strong for Colin the Bengals. This a three ball. Lane up 46-40 when Harrison Taylor goes right into the lane. He floats it up for a pair of his 12 points. Bengals off the miss, get the second chance rebound from Hicks Stahl. He feeds Giles, and there's another score counted as a foul was called as well. Lower scoring in the second half, but Taylor feeling it as he drains the three. Calling the Bengals, trying to hang around late after falling behind. This three helps the cause. More from Taylor as they look to finish strong, they being the Rangers. We've seen him do it before, and one for the senior on this play. Into the final minute, Sam Olson lays it in to pull the Bengals within one point. Now, Bengals down two with the clock dwindling. The two inside. No good, too strong off the glass. Rangers ice it with free throws and win 60 to 56. So the season ends for the Blaine Bengals as the Rangers advance to the next round. And how did things go? in that bracket because section seven has moved its way along. Let's take a look at those brackets. Cambridge Isani defeating Forest Lake. So it'll be a one-two matchup in the 4A bracket. Cambridge Isani and Duluth East.